Okay, so this is the discriminant. Now, they've given us this equation here and asked us to find the discriminant. So, from here, we need to transfer it into standard form so we can know our A, B, and C values. So, doing that, we can make that 1 and it's squared. So, you x minus 3, x minus 3. Now, you could always do the a trick where you multiply that, but do a trick here to get it to standard form, but we'll do the simpler way in foiling. So we get 1x squared minus 3x. That's x squared minus 3x, and then we get another minus 3x, and then we get plus 9. Now this 1 here, if we multiply that in, foil it all the way through, it's not going to make a difference in the value, so we can just take that right out. So this becomes x squared minus 3x and negative 3x. They come together to 6x plus 9. Now from here, this is where we can start to find our discriminant. So our a value in front of the x is equal to 1. Our b value is negative 6. And our c value is 9. So now the formula for the discriminant is taken right out of the quadratic formula. And it's not the entire thing. It is only b squared minus 4ac. So now we plug in our values here. So we have negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. So this would be 36 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 9 is equal to 36 equals 0. So this, when the discriminant value is zero, like we have just found, that means that there is only going to be one x-intercept. And this is because, if you were to graph this, when the discriminant is zero, we could either have, it tells us that there's only one x-intercept. So there's three things that the discriminant can tell us. A, one, if it's positive, then it's going to have two x-intercepts, which looks like this. It's going to have two x-intercepts, which it would be here and here. If the discriminant is negative, there will be no x-intercepts, which means it could be somewhere up here. As you see, it doesn't cross the uh, x-axis. And when the discriminant is zero, it tells us there's one x-intercept, which means it touches once and only at one point and goes up. So that is the discriminant.